If there's ever a window in Edge Animate you should never close, I would probably have to say it's the Properties window. Now the Properties window, you control almost anything that is happening on the stage and in your timeline, and it is constantly changing depending on what you've clicked on. Right now we have none of our elements selected, so the Properties is giving us our stage information, what size it is, whether or not it's going to be a hidden overflow, as well as other things like responsive scaling, whether or not to build a preloader, everything is set up for the stage at this point, unless we select one of the elements. By clicking on the penny, it's now giving us the property name or the div name, as well as the visibility, what size it is, where it is on the stage, and in addition, where exactly it is in our library. Now, if we click back on the stage, we still have all the information here. So the properties window is pretty much like a roadmap. Wherever you're clicking inside the program, it's going to give you that information and you'll be able to edit things almost exclusively from the properties window.